It is the 11th of the 8th, 2011. And this is today's climate change update. I'm going to start with Scott.net tonight. Extreme weather affects most of the United States. According to NOAA, 41 of the lower 48 states had an above normal or record warmest July uh, this year. Um, only seven states in the lower 48 were experienced anything close to normal or below normal and they were all west of the Rocky Mountains. And uh, of course we're all following the droughts that are going on in Texas and the fires and uh, uh, the record heat and the flooding and uh, the sinkholes um, that are going on in uh, throughout this record-breaking 2011 summer. Italy, Naples, garbage truck swallowed by a sinkhole, uh, one dead and two wounded, and there are a lot of sinkhole stories today. Huge lava pond forms on Hawaiian's Mount Kilauea, and lava continues to erupt from volcanic vents on Hawaii's Mount Kilauea as it has pooled into huge lava pool pond on the volcano's active east rift zone, and this is an ongoing eruption. Um, you remember last night they were saying they, they did a study where the, the lava was swelling um, in the center of the, the earth kind of thing. A uh, new eruption starts at Alaska's Cleveland volcano. Of course, I covered that story last night. Pakistan magnitude 5.7 earthquake. Um, South Carolina minor earthquake hits uh, upstate city. Uh, the USGS says a 2.3 magnitude quake has been reported in northwestern part of South Carolina. Um, no injuries were reported, but uh, people definitely got calls saying they felt the tremors. Small earthquake rattles South Dakota State Capitol. Now, this is a definitely an earthquake we need to take um, pay attention to. This 3.4 struck about a mile west of the Capitol around 2.45 p.m., and um, there are... Um, large reservoirs, reservoirs in the Missouri Valley where we've had all this flooding going on um, in South Dakota, North Dakota. Um, of course, I've been covering for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. And uh, these are where these huge uh, reservoirs are. And they're, they're worried about the dams. And um, they're, they've checked the, uh, the Ohi O-A-H-E dam and said the initial check to indicate the quake didn't cause any damage uh, to the giant earthen structure um, but they're going they're going to uh, check the Missouri River Dam which is located about five miles upstream from the quake center um, in what, Pierre South Dakota um, and uh, so we definitely need to pay attention to these big dams, because if we lose one of these big dams, um, the the initial um, big tsunami that would go down tail, um, downstream would hit um, several nuclear power plants and um, cause of all kinds of havoc and destruction that we don't really need, do we? Uh, Illinois Palat Palatine sinkhole fix will take a while longer, and apparently they dug uh, trying to f fix one of the big sinkholes that. Uh, came out after two weeks ago and they found a bunch of old construction debris underneath and it's going to take a lot longer than they think so they're still dealing with sinkholes two weeks three weeks after the fact here Missouri sinkhole closed section of prospect for six hours in Kansas City a big sinkhole in Kansas City Pennsylvania excessive rain causes widespread sinkholes and in Palmer and they have a video attached. Uh, basically, there's there's a bunch of sinkholes running through the town in the neighborhood. Uh, they're saying this um, due to more rainfall and stuff that these sinkholes could could definitely spread and get bigger. So um, they're dealing with more all at once than they're normally used to in a sinkhole area. Uh, over to the extinction protocol. Geologic time scale for recycling of planet's crust is four times faster than previously thought. And uh, what they did is the scientists took a sample of the lava in uh, Kilauea in Hawaii and um, tested it with the, you know, doing what they're doing. They're saying basically that, that 
the crust melts and comes back up through and recycles itself a lot faster than they previously thought. So basically the earth is younger than they think. Um, so it's definitely opening a whole new line of questions on, you know, an age of less than 500 million years for the inclusions. Therefore, rock material forming on the Hawaiian basilisk must be younger. And uh, magma plume, 5.7 magnitude earthquake near the Ascension Islands. And yesterday I put out a story on the, the Irish scientists that went out and found new vents in the Atlantic uh, rift there that, that runs just from here up to Iceland. And... Um, more volcanic activity in the Atlantic. Earthquake swarms reported off the north coast of Iceland and a series of minor quakes occurred approximately 40 kilometers uh, west of Grimsey Island, North Iceland um, shortly after midnight yesterday with the strongest quake measuring three points on the Richter scale. And um, there's a lot of activity going on in Iceland, um, been ongoing with their volcanoes. Um, here's a economy piece, Fiat Empire Shaken, Global Financial Markets Unravel and Go Into Free Fall, all according to plan. Gas shortages hits parts of Canada. Um, I find this hard to really grasp because doesn't Canada have these great big oil sand fills and we import most of our oil from Canada um, how are they having gas shortages if there's this big guru oil um, industry country and they've got the Alaska's Cleveland volcano story a wave of violence spreads across the United Kingdom um, three dead and I just want to Touch note on this: these these British riots, uh, London, of course, and you know I, I was watching some videos earlier today of of how some of the locals have taken to the streets because the police are outnumbered and they won't call in the military, and and uh, these vigilante groups are are running around and taking charge of their neighborhoods. Uh, apparently, three people were died when they got hit by a car trying to protect their neighborhood, and um, this is an ongoing. Um, situation which I I personally feel is being aggravated to a point of you know the people are going to scream for martial law and these are the kind of stories that you're going to see uh, I don't think this is going away anytime soon and of course there are videos everywhere on this and over to the Watchers uh, Pierced Meteor Shower on August 12th and 13th. Uh, Earth is entering a stream of debris from Quam Comet Swift Tuttle. Sources of the annual uh, Pierced Meteor Shower. International observers are now reporting more than a dozen uh, per hour, and a number will increase. The shower reaches its peak on August 12th and 13th. Full moonlight will reduce visibility on the peak night, but not enough to completely spoil the show. So if you like uh, seeing shooting stars, the next couple nights are going to be pretty cool for that. Over to the RSOE, they really don't have a lot going on. I find it hard to believe they don't have any current emergencies on their listing. Um, at least not on my screen, anyway. Uh, they're reporting flash floods out of Ontario, Canada. Um... They're saying much relief to a hot summer, but um, apparently some strains got backed up, cars flooded, that kind of thing, heavy downpours. Uh, where's the other one? India. Mount Abu has some major landslides due to torrential rains, of course, and they're, they're having trouble um, fixing and get everything back to normal due to the continuing uh, weather situation there. Uh, earthquake in China. Um, Boshan City, and um, of course it was like a 5.4 and they it shaken damage and 22,000 homes and buildings were damaged and uh, they sent a, a like a rescue team of 480 people into the system so it's a pretty bad earthquake for this this um, this town in China and that is about all they have new today. 
And I wanted to finish tonight off with a, um, a link to a NASA site because uh, it covers, it's basically a story how um, the Japanese 9.0 earthquake tsunami um, changed the ice in uh, Antarctica and you know, how the tsunami came in and broke off a bunch of ice off the ice shelf. And uh, they've got a really cool picture on the top where you can slide back and forth and you can kind of see the before and after uh, flip-flop right real quick. And it's pretty dramatic as far as um, March 12th, 2011 and March 16th, 2011. Um, the changes in the ice and you can definitely show that the tsunami came down there and definitely uh, raised a little havoc. So um, something interesting to look at. Um, that's about all I have for you tonight. Of course, if I miss anything, please let me know and uh, attach your videos below. Uh, thanks for all your support and all your help. Enjoy what you can, and I'll see you later.